15 minutes could save you 15% or more. Is that Shakespeare? Nope, it's Geico. Uh, yeah, 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 that's Shakespeare from one of his unpublished works. Oh, it be not for awakening. Nay, give it thou the berries. For 15 minutes could save you 15% or more. No, it's from Geico, because they help save people money. Well, I hate to break it to you, but Geico got it from Shakespeare. Geico. 15 minutes could save you 15% or more. Rogue Nicotine On Demand. Delivered direct to your door. Available in all your favorite flavors and formats. Pouches, gum, wintergreen, peppermint, and more. From fishing to Sunday football to dinner at the in-laws, Rogue Nicotine is there for you when you need it. Visit roguenicotine.com today and save 10% when you place your order for sugar-free, fast-acting Rogue Nicotine. Underage cells prohibited. This product contains nicotine. Nicotine is an addictive chemical. For more information, visit roguenicotine.com. Hello, everyone, and welcome to The Jeffrey Epstein Show. I'm your host, Bobby Capucci, and this is a morning update. This goofy MF, Geraldo Rivera, thinks it's a good idea that Ghislaine Maxwell gets bail. He thought it was such a good idea, in fact, that he blasted the judge after she denied the bail request. As if Ghislaine Maxwell isn't a flight risk. As if Ghislaine Maxwell is not an eminent threat to leave the country. But no, you have this goofy MF, Geraldo Rivera, trying to wax poetic and fight for Ghislaine Maxwell getting bail. What in the world could possibly motivate this clown to try and defend Ghislaine Maxwell being remanded to federal custody until her trial? It defies reason. I don't know how anybody can look at the facts of this case, the facts that are just available to us, and not think that Ghislaine Maxwell was an eminent threat to leave the country. Most certainly she was. But Geraldo Rivera, well, he thinks that she should have been bailed out, she should have went to the luxury hotel, yeah, throw an ankle monitor on her, as if those have never been tampered with as if those have never been removed. And furthermore, what makes Ghislaine Maxwell so special that she should get bail? This is a child predator. We're not talking about somebody who got nailed with 15 or 20 kilos. Then I'd be like, yep, let them bail them out. Give them the bail. They better get bail. We are talking about someone who abused children and not only abused children, was involved in a wide-ranging money laundering scheme. It makes me wonder if Geraldo Rivera is suffering late stages of trauma in his life from a head injury or something because this guy is an absolute clown. There is no defense possible that you could put forward that would make me believe that Ghislaine Maxwell should get bail. But here we are. And this epic moron, Geraldo Rivera, is making the case. Our article today is from Fox News. The headline is, Geraldo Rivera accuses judge who denied Ghislaine Maxwell bail of copping out to the mob. What a clown. The author of the article is Yale Halon. Fox News correspondent at large, Geraldo Rivera, accused the New York federal judge presiding over Ghislaine Maxwell's case of copping out to the mob Tuesday after she denied the British socialite, co-conspirator, child abuser, general scumbag, bail request as she awaits trial on sex trafficking charges. So right off the, right off, right out of the gate, Geraldo doesn't know what he's talking about here. What did he expect the judge to do? To grant this woman bail? Unacceptable. It is not even an option. And you heard from two of the the survivors themselves who addressed the court. Do their feelings not matter? I mean, how could anyone who listened in on that hearing yesterday not agree with the remanding of Ghislaine Maxwell to federal custody. It is just such a foreign perspective. I don't understand how anybody who is 
not just trying to be cute, doesn't see that UA and Maxwell uh, is a risk to flee. It just defies the imagination. I think this was a political decision, Rivera asserted on Bill Hemmer reports. I think that the question is not whether she committed these hideous offenses. The question is whether or not she would show up for trial. She bought a house in New Hampshire, for God's sakes. For goodness sakes. She went to all this trouble to stay in the country. Well, did you ever think that that might have had to do with her hubris and the fact that she was able to get away with this for so long? And in her arrogance, she thought that those who had protected her previously with Jeffrey Epstein were going to continue to do so because we know she has supposedly the documentation and the evidence that will put a bunch of powerful people on blast. Now, Ghislaine Maxwell obviously has intimate knowledge of what occurred with Jeffrey Epstein. She was his partner in crime. She was the shadow boss. And to think that Ghislaine Maxwell, now truly understanding the gravity of these charges that she's facing, to think that she would not bounce and try and get out of Dodge is just, it's, it's silly to think that way. Well, she's, she's going to stick around and wait for the trial? She knows that she's guilty. She knows there's mountains of evidence. And she knows that other co-conspirators are about to be flipped to rat on her. Ghislaine Maxwell would have been on the first flight out of America if she could have figured it out. But the fact is, she is no longer useful to her handlers. And once that happens in their part of the world, in this sort of community... You are burned as an asset and jettisoned. They could take her passports, he went on. That's standard operating procedure. Yeah, okay, they could take her passports, but how do we know she can't get more? This isn't a woman who is just, you know, floating through life and happened to get caught up in some sex trafficking scheme. This is a woman of means, a woman of power, and a woman of great skill when it comes to manipulation. Ghislaine Maxwell has no business ever setting foot outside of a prison ever again. Rivera added the coronavirus risks in the awful Brooklyn Detention Center, as well as the very suspicious circumstances surrounding Jeffrey Epstein's death, should have been enough to secure the 58-year-old's release. Okay, and and then what, Geraldo? Mr. Geraldo Rivera, man of so many big ideas? Then what? The federal government provides guards to protect her at her luxury hotel? Negative. She'll be eating bologna? Nasty-ass oatmeal? And whatever other kind of gruel they slop down on her plate. She will not be getting room service while she's awaiting trial on these horrific charges. And the coronavirus nonsense? Give me a break. I am so sick and tired of the coronavirus being used in every quarter as an excuse for everything. Enough is enough, okay? The wheels of justice do not stop because you have the coronavirus or that there's an outbreak of it in the uh, jail. And furthermore... New York has passed their peak. Ghislaine Maxwell has no underlying health conditions that we're aware of. She should not be able to use the coronavirus as an excuse to escape justice once again. And I believe that Judge Allison Nathan made the correct call. It doesn't make any sense, he said, before claiming that prosecutors in in the case are doing this to put pressure on her. No shit, moron. No shit. That was exactly what I've said from the beginning. These initial charges are hold charges. These are not the only charges we're going to see, in my opinion. And Mr. Doofus Geraldo Rivera just said the same thing, basically. They're putting this pressure on her because they want her to rat. They want her to spill the beans. And they want the other co-conspirators to start to sweat. 
That's how this stuff works. If you're not familiar with federal cases and you're one of those who are flipping out because, oh, the trial's in a year, this kind of thing takes a very long time. With some RICO cases, they're, they're built over multiple years, three, four, five years in some cases. So it's not out of the norm for this case to uh, be tried a year from now. There's a huge scope here, and it's a very broad and wide-ranging investigation. And it's not just going to end right here with Ghislaine Maxwell. That's not, that's just not, it's just not likely. So Geraldo is answering his own question here. One of the main reasons to keep her in prison, one of the main reasons to keep her without bail is to continue to put the pressure on her. You want her to break. You want her to rat on everybody. That's the point, Geraldo. They are punishing her before conviction, Rivera argued. She has never been held liable in a civil suit, never been convicted of a crime. She is not Jeffrey Epstein. I think this is a terrible, punitive decision. Sounds just, what what did he get his uh, talking points from Cohen? What did Mark Cohen come over, to, come over to Geraldo Rivera's office and drop off the old talking points? Sure sounds that way. And furthermore, she settled in her civil suit because she didn't want to get to discovery, you epic moron. How about you follow the case a little bit there, Mr. Geraldo, before you pipe up and open your fat, stupid yap. Criminal defense attorney... Jonas Spilber largely agreed with Rivera, accusing U.S. District Judge Allison Nathan of lacking the courage to do what was really right in this. Are you kidding me right now? The government has been dicking these girls over, these survivors, for years. And you just want to go ahead and compound that problem and let Ghislaine Maxwell walk free? Hop on the next private jet provided to her by insert intelligence agency here and and cut out? Because that's definitely a possibility. What, are, what do these people want? They want her to be free with an ankle bracelet, running around, living the life still? Well, that ship has sailed, okay? There has been a lack of justice in this case from the very beginning. So if Judge Allison Nathan wants to lay the hammer down, remand this lady to custody, and let the government sink their teeth in, then I am all for it. Geraldo Rivera and anyone else be damned. Nathan ruled Tuesday that Maxwell accused of sexually abusing and exploiting young girls alongside the late convicted pedophile Epstein posed too great a risk, a too great a flight risk to be allowed to leave. 100%. We've went over that. She is definitely a flight risk, folks. Are you kidding me right now? On what planet does anyone believe that Ghislaine Maxwell is going to meekly sit around in her luxury hotel and not have the wheels turning on an escape plan? How long have I told you that it's about self-preservation for these serpents? And Ghislaine Maxwell is the master of self-preservation, folks. So if you think that Ghislaine didn't have five plans ready to hatch, you're wrong. She did. The judge emphasized that no combination of conditions would ensure that Maxwell wouldn't try to leave the country, noting her foreign connections and adding that she exhibited an extraordinary capacity to evade detection. Yeah, like aluminum foil on the phone, moving 36 times, not answering summons by judges. It goes on and on, okay? This is, these aren't the behaviors of somebody who's trying to avoid the press. It's such a laughable argument. It is so funny full of holes that it's not even worth punching more into their stupid ass defense at this point. We are not supposed to discriminate against people, not in our criminal justice system, based on whether they have money or don't have money, Spillbore said. What is your point? What does this have to do with money? What do you think they're trying to make an example of Ghislaine Maxwell here? That's not the case. This woman has been remanded to custody because she is a risk to flee. Point blank, period. All this other shit we're hearing from uh, uh, Spillbore and Geraldo Rivera, that's just white noise, folks. A bunch of white noise garbage. Rivera argued that Maxwell was not evading law enforcement, but was rather laying low to avoid tabloids and the press. How does he know that? 
So he's just, he's taking the defense's word for it, huh? Okay, that's fine. You can take the defense's word for it. They have no proof. They have no evidence. So go ahead and be on the losing side once again there, Geraldo Rivera. Why would you want to change it up now? Your opinion has always sucked. It continues to suck. And frankly, you're a terrible newsman. She was hiding from the Daily Mail, he said. She was hiding from the New York Post. She was hiding from the National Enquirer. She was one of the most sought after, with the exception of Meghan Markle, the most sought after tabloid figure in the country. Stop. Hit the brakes. You dumb jackass. How about if the legacy media, you know, what you're part of, did their job hunting her down to try and find her? It was only the so-called tabloids who gave a damn. So put a little respect on their name from this search, huh? From this, uh, from this investigation. Because you, Mr. Rivera, have done nothing for the survivors. Except open your fat, stupid yap and act like you know what you're talking about. I am so tired of all of these Johnny-come-lately showing up at this story, acting like they know what's up. Acting like they have their finger on the pulse. So many people have been wrong at every single turn in this case. So excuse me if I don't care what you have to say. Remember, these charges relate to offenses that happened 25 years ago, from 1994 to 1997, Rivera concluded. I think these are charges that are wobbly on their face, and for this judge to chicken out and not give this defendant bail, I think is copping out to the mob. These are hold charges, huh, do Okay? These are the charges they knew that they could get the stick right off the bat with no BS. They didn't have to worry about the non uh, the, the NPA, the non-prosecution agreement. They didn't have to worry about any of this. Don't be mad because they pulled an end around. Don't be mad because the government is using loopholes now. I never thought I'd see the day that I was rooting for the government in a prosecution. We all know I, I feel that the government is absolutely corrupt and was complicit in this for a, a long, long time. But here, now, well... The way Alice and Moe was conducting herself and the way that Judge Nathan ruled already in this case, it gives me some hope that, that, that we're, we're turning a corner here and that there are still prosecutors and people within the justice system who give a damn because we know from past experiences that most of them haven't. So maybe this is a, a, a new a, a step in the right direction for the SDNY. Because I'll tell you what, if Allison Moe conducts herself the way she did yesterday in that hearing throughout this trial, they are going to be in for a long ride. She shredded them yesterday. She showed up to that courtroom and she went Chuck Rhodes on these dudes. And if I was Ghislaine Maxwell, instead of Cohen, you better call Saul because you're going to need a lot more help in the courtroom. Maxwell's trial date is set for July 2021. And is, and, and is expected to last two weeks. Well, I've already put my plans into motion, locked in my uh, living arrangements, and I plan on being in New York for the duration of the trial. So right now, it looks like I will be touching down in New York on July 10th. Thankfully, I'm originally from New York, so I have plenty of places to stay. And I plan on being down at the trial, at the courthouse, every day that the trial is occurring. Because, like I said, I want to see this through to the very end now. We're in this so deep and we're getting, we're getting to a point where people who are involved are finally starting to get a taste of what it feels like to be the hunted, to be the prey. And it is not the time to take the foot off the gas yet. More indictments, speedy trials... And convictions. That is when a stamp is put on it. That is when a bow is tied upon it. Until then, we'll have to navigate our way through the muddy waters, slapping around people like Geraldo Rivera every time they start talking out of the side of their neck. If you'd like to contact me, you can do that at bobbycapucci at protonmail.com. That's B-O-B-B-Y-C-A-P-U-C-C-I at protonmail.com. You can also find me on Twitter at B-O-B-B-Y underscore C-A-P-U-C-C-I. 
Inside of the description box, you will find a link to the GoFundMe account and also a link to the article we discussed today. All right, folks, I'll be back later on with some more. Hope you all enjoy your morning. Social justice. It's the effect of systemic progress. It's not about this moment. It's about every moment. It's not about immediate change. It's about constant momentum. Saybrook University has been doing the work since 1971, educating inquisitive, informed, and inspired leaders to change the world for the better. Learn more at saybrook.edu. Rogue Nicotine On Demand, delivered direct to your door. Available in all your favorite flavors and formats. Pouches, gum, wintergreen, peppermint, and more. From fishing to Sunday football to dinner at the in-laws, Rogue Nicotine is there for you when you need it. Visit roguenicotine.com today and save 10% when you place your order for sugar-free, fast-acting Rogue Nicotine. Underage cells prohibited. This product contains nicotine. Nicotine is an addictive chemical. For more information, visit roguenicotine.com. 